Welcome back everyone to the Red World Fan Fork for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Free States of America Mocha Lover, and right now we have a land as our capital, but we can choose a new focus. Now, I believe we just crushed personal liberties, or maybe Return of the Americans, but I asked y'all yesterday whether we should be doing power to the corporations or power to El Presidente. Now, personally, I kind of prefer the power to the president, but overall, even though there's support on both sides, it has come down to there's actually overwhelming support for power to the corp corporations. So, it is what it is, and thank you all for giving me your suggestions. Corporation time. President Daddy Duke has been a willing puppet, but unfortunately, he has generated our regime too much controversy in comparisons to open uh, F-words and fascistos and xenophobia. For the sake of our reputation and the efficiency of our government, he shall be removed, and full powers will be given to Congress of corporations instead, which will now truly guide America. But you know what? That's totally okay with me, just because we all love Daddy Duke here. He, he never did anything wrong. Never, especially in our timeline. It was never... Any member of any sort of group before that would raise questions about his thoughts and beliefs, but I'm okay with that with this timeline, just because eventually we're going to go back and uh, have Daddy Dookie lead us another time, maybe even twice, depending on the President Knows Best or down with the Duke. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, we'll probably go with the President Knows Best, but we also have some other comms to get through, and actually, we got to grab some naval UCAV so that we can get some carrier bombers for them, too. Which would be good, because we do have some aircraft carriers that we do need to make sure that they do okay. We're doing better on guns. APCs, we can lower that by one. Uh, lower that by, go down to two. So we can get some more guns as well, which would be very, very nice. Now, the state of Ethiopia declared war on Kenya. Some conflict that I never thought I would actually read today, but okay. Sure, why not? Let them kill each other. We've got plenty of APCs. We might as well throw on some more Modus infantry, so these guys actually have a respectable amount of organization, even though the armor has gone down quite a bit here. That's still okay. And they're 20 combat with, which is exactly what I wanted, so... Very good, we need more guns. Of course, way more guns. We need way more artillery pieces, but that'll come in time. Uh, next up, Novus Master. I don't want to lose any more political power. Egypt has exploded. Don't really care, to be honest. So, naval XP gain? Sub-defense, or sub-detection and screen defense. That's not terrible. I would like to do aircraft designer, just because I love, love, love getting more... Oh, that's not bad. You can have range and naval attack. I like that. But I kind of prefer, honestly, uh, Lockheed Corporation, just because more agility and, and max speed. Because you can use that on our carriers as well, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we shall do ensure protection. Well, once we talk about what we do after we get armored cars, of course. After armored cars, yeah, let's grab some M4A1s. Uh, one of the comments from yesterday is saying that, let's see, try out shooting an M16 or an AR-15 platform. Well, I've already done the AR-15 platform. <clears throat> I've never shot an actual M16, though, but close. Close to it. Uh, Blitzkrieg, uh, uh. I want to make sure infantry is not too weak, so... Uh, let's see, motorized infantry recovery rate is good. Inf motorized infantry max speed plus 10%. This is because just more organization overall, which I think is just better to do. But ensure protection. Under the free state of America, the common citizen is always protected from the interests of big government and socialism that now control the former U.S. of A. Our army shall crush any threats that would dare threaten the ability of every American to achieve a seat in Congress of corporations with the opportunity and ingenuity. We get Protecting the Republic, more cryptology level, and land port construction speed plus 25% is pretty good. Enables the decision to restore the U.S.? Great, the Duke becomes a figurehead. As Congress has rapidly gained more and more power over all institutions of the free state, some have questioned how much influence President Duke really has. Their question was answered today when Congress passed a bill which transformed the position of President into one of a figurehead of the state. He now no longer has any power of what laws the body passes and cannot appoint his own cabinet secretaries. This is a major blow to Duke and his National Renewal Party, who seem seemingly hoping to work cohesively with the Congress instead of being sidelined. A major step for corporatism. Well, he's still the leader, but not really. And actually, we did send volunteers to Arizona, and we did fight pretty harshly down there. Uh, I did send one division. I mean, not really much happened, I'll be honest. There wasn't a whole lot happened. I mean, I only sent one division because that's all we could afford right now, so. Uh, poor, poor Arizona. You will not, you, you might be forgotten. <laughs> You might be, so. Uh, let's, let's go and read the next thing. Absorb the Midwest. The Midwest has been unstable ever since it was created, with the proper tools to create an economy being squandered by its centrist and liberal leaders. We must restore order to the Midwest and make it a haven for business once more. We get a war goal against the Midwest Union. Get a core of them eventually, too. That's not bad. I'm a little worried that these guys will attack us, but in the meantime, I suppose we better shift on over to the good old Midwest, which is only a chunk of the Midwest, including a portion of Colorado, a good portion of it. Was that Kansas, Nebraska, and part of the Dakotas? This is so weird, man. I'll be honest. It's so weird. Let's get... Uh, we'll stack up our tanks right here. 
Go boom, 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 go to Toe Picker, also known as Toe Picker. And actually, I already made some resource facilities here, so uh, yeah, you guys recommend me I, you should use, I should use this stuff, and I actually have been, so that's pretty good. Let's increase our military factories, civilian factories, as well as infrastructure at all times. Let's grab some rubber. This is actually a really cool mod where you can actually just produce more rubber. I love synthetics. It, it makes sense, too. It's 2012. And after we ensure protection, we're going to absorb... Oh! Poor Utahns. And absorb the big old Midwest Arenos. Yes, please. All right, Utah. Utah is actually not super weak, but can I send you volunteers? I might as well. Two divisions this time. Don't mind if we do. There you go. Uh, thank you. Craddock, good luck, son. You're going to need it. How many planes can we send over to the uh, Utahns? They're not all Mormons over there, but... Still. Alright, so let's cut you down to almost 50. This way we can get some good air XP. I love air XP. I love sucking on that air XP. Uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah. Well, we got plenty of cast. Well, by plenty. Yeah, not you. Alright, you guys. Medium bombardment. We need up to get up to 100. Uh, we're using tactical bombers. Drones, yeah. Fighters, not bad. I'm going to save them for reserve stuff. Do we, okay, so you guys are repairing this. Totally, totally fine. State of Ethiopia declared one of the small and people's union. Well, good luck, guys. Y'all y'all going to need it. Oh, don't lose. Don't don't lose yet. Please, please, please. I just got here. Seriously, I literally just got here. Don't lose that towel. That's our air base. <laughs> Hewton Shelton, or Hugh Shelton. Good luck, Hugh. Uh, we're going to go with offensive because I like being offensive sometimes. We'll grab charismatic as we can. Nice, Craddock. Ah, there we go. We're in the middle of the battle. And hold on to that uh, air base. Actually, we have air superiority. Wow, we got him air superiority. Uh, fighting, you know, you, you think you're fighting against California. You wouldn't have air superiority. But I suppose I'm wrong. And that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta be wrong. Of course, then again, we're about to attack the Midwest Union, so go figure. Uh, someone did put put out in the comments yesterday. Some be, we kind of enjoy sometimes when we get to fight for and reunite America. We kind of like it all broken up. Well, don't get my dreams started, but whatever. Wow, these Californians, they are really just murdering themselves. I love it. Don't give up, son. Don't give up. Force defense. You better learn a lot, Craddock. You're going to need all that information once we go to war with them uh, Midwesterners. War of the False Fascists, Montana, and the Union of Lincoln absorbed Illinois. I kind of want to do that. Illinois has no place in the hands of liberal Democrats. As a rival territory of the U.S. of A., it will be integrated into our new state. Illinois does not deserve freedom. I'm sorry, Illinois. Mm. I don't know, man. Illinois, that's kind of cringe, man. It's kind of cringe. Oh, we can't even do that one, too, so. Well, looks like you guys are going to falter very soon. The sooner we wait, the probably the worse we become. Let's go and stop training then for now. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a big old lake right there. Oh, did you know there's a big old lake in Utah? I did, but, you know, whatever. Not bad. Alright, I'm going to touch you, y'all. There you go, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, any more fighters? No, there's really not much here. Oh, let's put some carrier fighters on our boys. And by boys, where my ship is. Shipperinos. There you go. And we'll probably go up to 30. There you go. That'd be nice. This can protect yourself somewhat. And then we'll grab Extreme Regulator. Meh. Supply consumption might be good. Eh, that's okay. Administrative Genius. 3.5% ain't very much. That's not bad either. But let's grab some Material Designers. Infantry is usually pretty good. Three. Well, give it a little bit more time since I got a little bit more time. That's fine. Oh boy. Please just do not get cut off. Go and retreat that way. Go and start moving that way. That's fine. And we're getting more arm XP, so I kind of do like that. Don't leave, don't... Well, I guess technically we're leaving, so... Three. Eh, let's go up to three. Two. We need way more artillery. One. Armored cars. Hey, I have some light tanks. Goodbye, Utah. It was nice while you lasted. Let's move on in. Do we have green air? Yes, we do. Very, very nice. Overland Park, go, 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 go. Oh, they're attacking us. How many divisions does Midwest have? Up to 14, that ain't very much now, is it? Nope. We're going to need those naval bombers for the future. Because um, <clears throat> someone did recommend, back when I played as the Soviet Union and playing as Putin, 
that we should take out the USSR. Well, we'll see what we can do. That is a kind of a hope and goal, but like I said, we'll see what happens. We need way more artillery pieces. Hello, Utah Divisions. You guys, yeah, I'm also throwing up top to you. Why not? Ethi Ethiopia, you're very violent. Alrighty, and oh, actually quite a bit of naval XP. It's 2013, so let's grab some more output. Yes, please. Happy 2013. That was a weird year for me. Actually, pretty much every single year is weird for me. Omaha? Where's the capital? Is it, uh... Whatever the state of South Dakota is? Oh, no, it's Denver. For some reason, I always forget that Colorado exists. I don't know. I never think of Colorado that much. You guys go right there. You can encircle them and destroy them. There you go. M4A1's not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some construction speed. Let's grab that one. That'd be good. You don't like getting encircled? Two divisions are here. Nice. Keep these keep these guys up. That's fine. Uh, absorbing Illinois, not bad. Absorb the Great Lakes. Why not? The Great Lakes Republic's progressive policies have led a week to a wait, leak. Leak. Uh, led to a weak and centralized economy that has no interest in ensuring the prosperity or opportunity of the people. True capitalism must come to the Great Lakes, not democratic socialism. That's kind of cringe, bro. In my America, in our America, I don't think so. Oh, goodbye, Utah. Goodbye. We hardly knew you. Ah, Denver. It must collapse. After that, oh, Rapid City. Oh, I think I've driven through there before. Ah, Midwest Union. Thank you, Midwest Union. Thank you. Illinois. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. You should really not be a state. I'm just kidding. I don't hate Illinois that much. And Illinois. Uh, St. Louis is the capital. That makes sense. Man, whenever we have these little American Civil Wars, you can tell which states I don't like and some states that I do like. Wow, how fast we build this. Holy cow, that's quite quick. I love it. I love it. Actually, we're doing pretty well on this stuff. We need way more support companies next, too. So there you go. Thank you. Military factories are coming along. Very, very good. I'm waiting for these guys to declare war on us. Federation of American Syndicates. Mm -mm. Three, two, I'm not even going to wait. Just go. Go, go, go. And do we have any options for coring all this territory? Because resistance is going to be kind of bad for us. There you go. Um, if you'd like to, you guys can go up there. Oh, Springfield's capital. I thought I've been through Springfield, I think. Ah, hell and Noah. Wow, that was really fast. All right, then. Uh, who's next? Oh, uh, the Great Lakes. Oh, man. This is... We're literally just like the American Union state from Kaiserreich. Oof. All right, thank you, boys. Your goal is to just let get to Milwaukee. I've never been to Milwaukee, though. I have no real plans to go to Milwaukee, either. Garrisons. Do you have anything? Yeah, let's get rid of this stuff. That should make it a little bit better for us here, actually. Replace some motorized with more cav. We don't have enough armored cars, I think. To really do anything. Eh, yeah, it's only 12. Not very much. It's fine. We've got enough army XP to do that anyways. So it just requires more guns, which is totally okay with me. Absorb the Great Lake Arenos? Yes, please. Uh, the East Coast. Core former APC territory. West Coast. Uh, down with the false fascists. Montana and Lincoln have no support for private industry. Have abandoned collaboration with capitalists and corporate interests to, to the detriment of their nations. We shall teach them error of their ways. Hallelujah. Glora, glora. Hallelujah. Let's get rolling and steaming on ahead. 2013, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, get some more radar, I suppose. Better artillery. I want to shell the heck out of Iowa. Minnesota deserves it, especially. And Wisconsin. Who are you? Melissa Hortman. Hort, 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 hort. Baby da baba da booby dee. Let's cut those guys off, too. That'd be good. Um, not bad. I mean, really not bad. I, I'm enjoying this, but I'm kind of waiting for these guys to go to war with us. What are they doing over there? Who's leading this group again? The former... Is it still Chomsky leading, or... Ashanti Alston. Who the heck is that? Ashanti Austin. Direct democracy. Okay, well, y'all do you. Y'all do y'all do the best you can, and we're going to gun you down, but, you know, that's just what we got to do. That's because we love America. Okay, that was much easier than I thought. Just take out Milwaukee, and they're done. All right, then. So, this is not going to be good. We've got quite a thin line against these guys. We're going to lose D.C., but, I mean, who cares? It's not worth that much anyways. Oh, you're actually up here, too. Oh, wait, Chicago's a capital. Not Nothing in the... Oh, that's sad. Nothing in the Northeast. Oh, oh you know what we're going to do? We're going to cut their supply lines off. Cut off Chicago, and, we'll, and it'll be done, pretty much. Hopefully. 
Oh yeah, they have flint. Congratulations, you've got flint. Hope their water lines are still okay. Uh, yeah, by well, taking out the enemies, we got plenty of guns, artillery, I mean... Hold on, the Soviet Union's doing something. Terrain combat with is nice. What else we got around here? Field hospitals? Oh, uh, I don't think we have enough support equipment for that. No. Actually, you need APCs for that. Yeah, that's motorized. That's fine. Anything else? No, nothing I really care about. What was that? Oh, oh, look at that! I love that! The Soviet Union versus the PRC! What could... What else could you ask for? That's awesome. Motorized divisions. Let's make these guys a little thicker as well. Motorized artillery. It should save you a little, a few more things around here. Infantry equipment, way more artillery. Totally fine. Actually, you need less manpower. They want some more support artillery. Make our guys really extra thick. Armor divisions. What do you got? You need artillery. And anything else? Maintenance companies actually would be very, very good. Cool. I got quite a few divisions. Probably actually a little bit more than us, which is not good. But hey, we got those guys too. All right. So with you guys, we gotta stop doing this. You guys are looking not too bad actually. And since you're down here already, we should we don't have any extra planes, god dang it. Uh, yeah, we're making a few of these. Cast fighters, carrier fighters, oh, we're not making any... This is what we need. There you go. You know what? There you go. Do that too. Yep, we got plenty of guns. Go and do that. Not bad. I I'm glad that this episode actually is a little bit more interactive and we got more things to do and take stuff out. Nope, 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 nope. So, American Unification. Oh, here we go. Integrate Ter... Oh, yeah. Integrate Illinoisian Territories? Sure. Integrate Great Lakes Territories? Yeah. Integrate Midwestern Territories? We will once again have political power, but after we're done with war, war with the false fascists, we'll get the East Coast. American people's commonwealth vital industries are controlled by trade councils who have taken up the role of capitalist class and subjugated the people under union control. These trade councils must be destroyed and for the pe people of the East freed from the socialism that's driving them into the ground. Very nice. Oh, look at all this. I love construction. We need nuclear reactors in Arkansas, though. Why Arkansas? I don't know. Because we can. Uh, Tungsten, you're next. Got to build a whole bunch over there. Very nice. Uh, we can do Western Unification, but we got to kill these people off. They got to go. Hold they build so fast. Uh, 12 days? Holy cow. If we have this as well, let's go ahead and build some uh, like radar here as well, just because that will give us uh, maybe a slight advantage. Resource efficiency gain. We could do that. Eh, synthetic refiners. We already have enough fuel. Let's come over here. Anything new? Anything? Yes. Uh, let's grab engineers. Engineers are always good to grab. Engineers are always very, 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 very useful. And now that we do have carriers and what, like three or four light cruisers that are okay? Not great, but okay. We might actually be able to contest the enemy's fleets here too. So, let's take a look. I should have done this earlier too. Oh yeah, that's really good anti-air. Rapid fire guns, that's a little better. Uh, fire controls, zero. We actually have some sonars, that's totally... You have no... Oh my gosh. We've just straight been making garbage around here. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Anti-air 4. i got to do some anti-sub stuff. I've got to. There you go. One more. Make that. Thank you. Carrier-wise, how are we looking? We already have armor on these guys. If anything, just make it, make it slightly better. Slightly faster. Nothing there. That's fine. Cool. All right, not bad. And we still need a little bit more chromium. That's okay, though. Totally understandable. Totally okay. Trade-wise, I mean, yeah, we got a little more rubber. But that's all right with me. Uh, Plane-wise, though, how are we looking? You guys have 30 planes. That's exactly what we wanted. Ooh, what are you guys doing down here? Fighter groups. Well, there you go. Merge. That's what you now, because I want it. You guys do this. You go right there. Got some more artillery. And you guys go right there. Every army's got to have a little bit of air. Anti-air? Why not? Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. So. Better artillery? Yes, please. Really shell the living crud out of our enemies. Better radar is always good. Uh, nuclear reactors because we can. Not bad. I mean, we, we took over a lot of places. Ugh. I thought we already ended the Ethiopian famine. Alright, whatever. But yeah, one, two, three, four. Um... Hmm, I want to take them out. Oh, uh, it looks like, yeah, it's probably best if we take these guys out as fast as possible. And then take out the Union of American People's Republic, or even Montana. I've been to Montana. Montana is a really beautiful state. I love Montana. It's really awesome up there. We can go to war with them if we really wanted to, but we got to keep an eye on what we do first. Integrate the Midwestern Territories. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, 125. Oh, do we, do we core this stuff yet? 
Um, civilian oversight. I did want to do that. It'd make a little bit more sense, though. I mean, we could court and all, but, like, is there no way to get more compliance? Because they are Americans. There's certain nations in, the, in different mods that have, like, compliance gained, depending on the context of p other people, but let's do Western unification. Arizona and Utah may be stable democracies, but they would be stronger under United Corporate America. Our troops will march into the West and unify Arizona and Utah into a greater dream. You bet your booties we will. And how are we looking right now? Oh, we, that's all we gotta do, right? Oh, beautiful. Alright, so if we go to war, they're actually probably going to kick our butts a little bit. But if we cut them off, that's probably a really bad idea. They attack us, perhaps. We'll come over here and take half of you guys. We'll go right there cut off Chicago. I can't say I love Chicago, but it, it, it exists. Chicago is not bad. It's not great. It, it is what it is. And they're not really doing too much against us. Okay. If that's the case, go and see what you can do over here. You might get sunk, but we do have some screens. And even though we can't sink enemy ships with our carriers, that's still okay. Alright, we cut off Chicago. Alright, boys. Don't worry about moving too much. This part of Indiana is very... Well, it's kind of boring. Then again, it's Indiana. And that's totally okay. Go on, head in South Bend. I've been up to South Bend before. The can't pierce us. I love it. Crush him. Oh, boy. At this point, can you all just attack all willy-nilly? No, you really can't. That sucks. That's what I kind of thought, though. Alrighty, tidy. Hang on. Evansville? Uh, have I ever been to Evansville? I don't think I have. You guys hold. Um, around Chicago, don't worry about attacking, guys. Seriously, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Let the tanks do what they need to do. They'll, they'll do fine. Screw it. Let's force the attacks. Be make, make them bend to our will. Okay, the Soviet Union is very, very aggressive in this timeline. Uh, we found anything? Have we sunk anything? No, I'm still contested a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, I would, I, mm hmm, mobile infantry. That's good for organization. Let's grab some mass motor. Uh, now this will actually help our motors, motorized groups. That would be good. They don't seem to really be attacking us, which is kind of strange, but whatever. All right, whatever, whatever. Actually, if we could get up to here, that might not be too bad. Keep these guys in place. That's totally fine. Indianapolis. Sure, why not? Get down here and then help to get down here. Take out southern Indiana. Even though we got a lot of holes in the line. Oof. We've lost about 17,000. We've lost about 28,000. Uh, they have way more divisions than us. Which I'm a little surprised that they're not really attacking us too much. Quite surprised, actually. That's fine with me, though. Alright, head on in. If you can. You guys help support the attack as well. Don't attack that direction. Attack this direction. There you go. And circle and destroy all these guys. That's the most important thing to do. Seriously, they're not attacking. What's going on? The AI must be really might be a little bugged or something. All right then. Keep these guys in place. Where are you guys headed to? Back over there. That's a good idea. Very nice. Good, good, good. So we have seven plus nine plus eleven. Twelve divisions in total. Beautiful. Seriously, they're not attacking. What the heck? Democratic Constitution. Okay, well, okay. Sounds good for them. Alright, at this point, we're going to cut off Michigan from these guys. Oh, hold on. They pushed us out of here. Well, that's not good. Well, we're going to go to Ann Arbor, which I've actually been up to Ann Arbor, if I remember correctly. It's an okay place. Not bad. Uh, anti-air is not bad either. Let's see, anti-tank. I'm not sure if we're even using anti-tank. Let's grab some better radar, because we can. It's October, advanced intel. Uh, grab some resource extraction, because we could probably use that, right? Oopsie. Oopsie, I grabbed the wrong one. I did it a little too early. Eastern industry. Cities like New York and Hartford were once hubs of industry, innovation, and opportunity. The American people's commonwealth transformed them into cities controlled by the mob, labor unions, and socialism, but we can change this. Oh, we got beaten back. That ain't good. And once we're done, I'll, I will change this back to what we were doing before. I can't even remember what we were doing. Was it military police? I can't remember. My bad. I did that a little bit too early. Oh, it might have been this stuff? I can't. I honestly can't remember. Oh, well. Italian Republic Restored? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, now they're attacking us. 
There they go. Can you guys actually do this, maybe? Support the attack, maybe? I mean, loss has got to be pretty pretty substantial for everybody here. Uh, was it this one? No, I didn't check this stuff. It wasn't that stuff. What was I doing before? Is it art artillery? No, nah, nah, I'll do artillery anyways. Artillery's pretty good. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Maybe it was land doc Air naval doctor, maybe. Maybe that was it. Oh, that's not good. Please get in there before we die. Okay, good. <laughs> Oof. Oh, they actually connected back up there. God dang it, they actually took that away. Hmm. Cut them off, cut them off. Tanks, you gotta go, 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 go. Wow, they're really stacked a lot of soldiers up here. Yeah, that's a lot of guys attacking us. That's a lot of guys. Guys, you can't lose. Come on. Oh, even if they spread out, it could be a lot worse. All right. India's having a wee few problems. That's fine. Whatever. They lost way more guys now, though. Holy cow. What, what's taking so long? Deploy the soldiers now. We got soldiers. We need soldiers in the field. This is scarily, dangerously getting, uh, you know, encircled. Hold, 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 hold. Spread out a little bit more. Oh, you guys got upgrades. Infantry attack. That'd be good. Uh, not much else, huh? Not much else. Nope. It's all right. Yeah, you know, you've got. To, why are you not winning? Seriously, come on. We lose this. All right, retreat to Toledo. That's fine. Oh, don't get me encircled, son. All right, we got it back here. That's fine. Let's go back. Let them attack our line. Let them waste themselves on the line. And we shall reconfigure this. <sighs> Cut them off. Cut them off. I mean, they can't have that much population. I mean, now that the Northeast is quite a few guys, but... Yeah, they're out. They're okay, they're out of manpower. Yep, I knew it. Force them out. Force them out. Kill every single one of them. It does not matter how much damage we take. We just got to kill them all off here. Because once we kill them off, we're going to re-attack and then destroy them. Nope. I just gave you an order, son. You do not disobey us. Go right there. Doesn't matter. You got to help support the attack. Oh, look at this. What's going on? Oh, wow. They got a big old fleet. Eh, we're slowly sinking them, maybe. Very nice. We sunk one destroyer. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Do not do that. And do that. There you go. All right. So, do we have any naval bombers? Yes. Very nice. So it looks like we're losing some places, we're winning in some places, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, no, we gotta keep attacking them because they have no manpower left, they might be mobilizing more, but their supplies, I'm sure, are getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, stockpile, they got a lot of guns, but if they have no manpower, that's the most important thing. Uh, let's not do the West Coast yet, let's go back over up around here. Uh, arms a little man. Every American needs a good and updated gun, so when that war comes, we can protect what they have. They need protection. They spread out. They're going to get a lot of resistance all over the place. How are we not winning here? Seriously. And how are they continually attacking us? There's no way they can continually attack us. There's absolutely no way. No way. Uh, yeah, they got to be cheating or something. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They can try to attack and attack and attack, but there's there's nothing they can do. They, they should be out of manpower, right? Kill every single one of them off. We're massing artillery, which is pretty normal. Uh, you know what? You want to attack? All right. No, no, no. Uh, we're still going to hold here. I don't care that they're actually spreading out or not. The more land they take, the way more resistance they take, which means way less guns, way less resources, which is good. And way less manpower, so. Um, we've lost 120,000. They've lost roughly two-thirds of a million, so... I wish we could see what level of conscription they were on. Uh, how are the planes situation? Not good, huh? Where is my plane? Why, why can't I throw in more planes here? Where's my um, ground support, ground stuff? Uh, we don't really have any extra planes to spare. Oh, we have a few cats. Uh, 
There it is. Why? Well, yeah, I can't do that earlier. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Let them spread themselves thinly. And once we take this tile, it's all over for them. They won't be able to reinforce at all. Seriously. Drill up out. Get more entrenchment speed, actually. And over here, we're gonna grab. Yeah, reinforce rate. Oh, we don't have enough command power. We never have enough. Never have enough command power. You guys. How are they winning? There's no way they have this much air power here. There's no way. Absolutely no way. With no manpower, you can't win. Break them up. Kill them off. Kill. Go, 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 go. Doesn't matter. You've got to win right here. Get in there right now. Go, 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 go. We're almost there. We're almost there. We got them. They've been cut off as long as they don't go up through here. That'll be good. Soviet, Soviet Union is very aggressive entity here. Well, please do not get yourself encircled and killed off. Please, for the love of God, don't do that. Seriously, they are way, are way too strong. Back them up. Back them up. They don't have enough supplies to do this. Oh, we have a very slinky base around here. Take out Chicago. I don't care what happens. Take it out. Cut them off. Because now they're linked up there too. Which is not good. Are you kidding me? How are you losing? No. 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 God dang it. <sighs> Completely overpowered. The Northeast is. Uh, hold. We got a retreat. Alright. That's it. It looks really bad. But holy crap. They are overpowered. Get down here immediately. And we're going to do some of Not that... Uh, rocket artillery. Let's grab some of that. I don't care if it's 300 days. We're going to immediately go for that stuff. I need you to hold in here. Get in. Get in. Hold. I said... What, what? Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. You got to hold for now. It's fine. Seriously, what is the AI up to? How are they this strong? This makes zero sense. I mean, you've lost 800,000 manpower. you think it would affect your war support, but apparently not. Good. Sink all the ships. We lost a uh, convoy, maybe. That's fine. Go ahead and retreat. That's totally okay. And you guys, move, 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 move. Kill these son of a guns off. And kill this division off, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Sink their garbage ships. Oh, you didn't like that, huh? Kill every single one of these guys off. Good, modern radar is nice. Uh, let's grab some military police, because that could be pretty useful. Nope, you hold, you go right there. Take them out. Alright, so we're looking not great. 2014 Winter Olympics. I mean, look at how ridiculous this is. This is beyond ridiculous. Look how strong the divisions are. They're not. <laughs> They're just not. And I'm surprised, actually, this line is kind of held pretty darn well. Alright, at this point, we got a break over here. I'm encircling these four divisions or so. No, 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 no. I said get rid of that. Uh, right there. There you go. Just don't have enough divisions. Get out. What are you taking so long for? Get out. We need divisions now. Um, Manpower's doing okay. Armor? Is there anything for tank designers? More? Oh, we could use the reliability right now. Get in the line. Yeah, dinguses. Seriously, we've killed off almost a million of them. I mean, this is ridiculous. Seriously? Seriously. All right. Well, I'm gonna rescue those guys. I don't care what happens. We gotta rescue them. Hold for now for strength. Hold your strength for now. Yeah, Northeast completely overpowered. I mean, just the amount of divisions they can pump out with infinite strength, apparently. That's that's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. Retreat into here so we can bolster it up. Aim for the little man. And special forces. Recruitment campaign. Drew unify America. We must outmen our competition in the UAPR and the Commonwealth. Oh, crap. What are you doing over there? You're about to get encircled yourselves. You dinguses. 
You better not. Mm, you better hold on, boys. Get out of there. Keep sinking the garbage. Hey, lost five more subs. That's really good. A second carrier. Awesome. Where? Come on. Where are my tanks? Tanks, why are you taking so long? Oh my gosh. Come on. At this point, go. You've got to go. There's no waiting here. You've got to go, 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 go. Force the attack. Force the attack anywhere you can. They're completely out of manpower by now, right? Oh, we can see their ships. They got quite a few ships. How do they get all that manpower back? No, 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 no. Go straight into there. I don't care what happens. Completely overpowered. 100% overpowered. It should be super easy playing as these guys then whenever I do play as them. Uh, I told you to get in there. Come on, why, why are they not broken yet? Can they pierce us? Oh, we're gonna lose these divisions, aren't we? They must be able to pierce us then. There's no way. N absolutely no way. Yep, they killed them off. Are you kidding me? Force the attack, kill them off. This should not be happening. The Northeast is way too overpowered. Oh my goodness. They have infinite manpower. I mean, that is just stupid. Are you kidding me? The Northeast does not have billions of people up there. They got a few million, but not that many. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to read the next focus and then just do a little bit more of this off screen so that we can speed this up a little bit more. So if we don't have the best things, then we are not trying hard enough. All right, so here we are, everyone, which now, as you can tell, we've expanded a lot more. And here are the casualties. I've lost about 700,000. Well, they've lost 4.22 million. It was ridiculous about all this stuff. But regardless, I took a, take a little break and I killed so many of them in Michigan. Oh, my goodness. Just... And uh, here's my stockpile. We're lacking a lot of things here, as you can tell. That's a good thing that these folks over here, these fine, fine Union of American People's Republics, they haven't gone to war with us yet, which I'm sure they do have it in their focus tree. Uh, right now we're taking New York City since Chicago fell as a capital, so. But my goodness, like, you know, it's one thing, like, for the, the our timeline, first civil war, north versus south, but when we are the, pretty much the entire south, not all of the south, but the majority of it, you know, we didn't have all of Virginia, but when we have, like, the South, and then a massive amount of the Midwest, including Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, the Dakotas, you know, Kansas, Nebraska, almost all of Colorado, and half of New Mexico. I mean, mm, I don't know. Our, our core population is 130 million, 140 million people, actually. So, that was, I find it would be a, a little bit ridiculous that they could just pull out and just pull out millions of men in divisions out of literally no, thin air. And reinforce their armies. I, I, I just find that ridiculous. Absolutely 100% ridiculous. Especially for the Federation of American Syndicates. So, uh, as you can tell, our Navy is doing very, very well. I'm, I'm enjoying using carriers quite a bit. And also, there's more co co comments that I didn't address yet either. So, uh, try out Jeb Bush. Uh, I did want to try out Jeb Bush first. But it seems just, you know, we all love... Well, maybe we all don't love George Bush. Or Jeb Bush, I mean. Not George Bush. Jeb Bush. Uh, I wanted to do Jeb Bush, but... You know, that's that's the expected route. I wanted to do something a little bit less expected. And that's why I chose Papa Leader uh, David Duke Arena. And they're finally dead. Thank God. We're going to burn all these commies into the ground because of their cheats, basically. It feels, at least it felt like cheats. Like, just pull out literally millions of men at one time. Just, okay, just pull out three million men. Reinforce all the lines. Reinforce all the guns. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But regardless, uh, with this campaign, we're going to finish these guys off. Unify the rest of America. We will take out Canada. And I... Even though they're actually in their own faction. Um, they're in the Democratic League, which... It's not very impressive. Uh, let's see. They have Alaska as a colony, which is, you know, heretical. They have Australia and, of course, Hawaii, which is also very heretical. So we got to crush them under our boot. Ooh. India declared war on the Indian Union. I've done a few more events as well. Uh, or... Ooh, it's great. The APC territory. That's good. But uh, the Northeast restored. Well, they will be. Uh, I've done quite a few focuses, but it's none of the important focuses, at least in my mind. Uh, let's see over here. Let's grab some better fighters. Just my goodness. Just, mm. Not very fair when they can pull out millions of more manpower, but I've said that a few times already. So, uh, I wanted, like I said, I tried to do Jeb Bush. I would like to, but that's just, that's just too 
expected. So, Charleston Church shooting. Oh, uh, the shooting was a mass shooting that took place at the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. During a prayer service, nine people, including senior pastor, state senator Clemente C. Pickney, were killed by gunman Dylan Roof, a 21-year-old white supremacist. Three other victims survived the morning after the attack. Police arrested Roof in Shelley, North Carolina. Roof confessed to committing the shooting in hopes to start a race war. The shooting targeted one of the Republic's oldest black churches, which has long been a site for the community organization around civil rights. Roof espoused racial hatred in both the website and manifesto published before the shooting, and a journal ran for, from jail afterwards. Photographs posted on the website showed Roof posting with emblems associated with white supre supremacy, and with the photos of the Confederate battle flag. Terrible. Well, actually, that's kind of interesting. You know, like, there, there could be more flavor for the American Republic, you know, just because you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things that are going on here that could be addressed. We'll put it like that. Could be addressed, so. But yeah, uh, yeah, we definitely got a Oh, that's not good. We have a lot of army XP, though, but Jesus Christ, that was... Yeah, whenever I play as the APC, whatever they call themselves, I'm, I'm going to expect that's not going to be that difficult. Like, the amount of crap that we had to go through with all this, no. They should be extreme, not maybe extremely, but very quite easy to play as. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, that, that was confusing me. Like, where's the armored car? I don't see the emblem. It's artillery now. There you go. Thank you. That should be enough to help put down resistance, so... Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Armored cars, and then throw on some more armored cars. There we go. There you go. Cool, so here are the focuses that we've done. I've done all the right side focuses here, so... We did heavy forces before we left each other. We have a recruitment campaign to reunify America. We must send our men with... Oh, I think you already read this. We must outmen our competition in the UAPR and the Commonwealth. We also did special forces. While every soldier, everyday soldiers are good, we must have elites in the background so we... To do what we must send. Or must can't. Uh, let's go and grab some. Oh, I. Hello? Why can't I do that yet? Hello? Thank you. Oh, that was the one we were missing. No wonder. That was the one we were missing before. I, I completely forgot about that. We don't really do that one. Advanced industrial technology. It is 2015 actually already, so let's grab some early automated construction. Camp group would be good, but I also did salute the sailors. No description. Vessels of the open seas. No description. Uh, destructive potential. No description. Carriers, again, no description, and we're obviously doing open sea tactics, which is no description either. So, uh, we'll do the West Coast. The UAPR suppl supplemented private industry with a platform of state intervention and bureaucratic control. If capitalism on the American continent is to survive, the UAPR must be destroyed by true American patriots, which will be good enough for us. And then after them, I'll probably, we'll just probably go to, straight to war with Canada. So, at this point, we can't integrate other people, and we did mobilize our, our, we have our higher level conscription, as you can tell. We have a core 141 million people, while 109, 110 million people are not core population, so it is what it is, you know. And I'm going to go with Modern Blitzkrieg. Even more organization for our guys would be a pretty good idea. India's gone. And actually, let's take a look at Europe, because right now, we still have the British Republic here. And they're national conservatives, led by Ian Lane, Duncan Smith. And they're actually in their own faction. So all the British Isles are all together once again. British Isles Protection Union, we got open sea tactics, but I want to do the West Coast, because that'll be good to do. Oh, and something else is happening. And more divisions. And as you can see, these guys are up to 30 maxed out. These guys are up to 30. Oh, and you guys are up to, you know, 24. Let's see. He's level 6, 7, 3, 4. Uh, Kenneth McKenzie is... <laughs> you can see his stats. Look at that skill. Ridiculous amount. A level 8 attack. Got some rubber processing, and you guys are four, four, two, four, four, and the general is five, nine. Jesus Christ, that's nine. It's ridiculous. The amount of attacks that we went through, ridiculous. Uh, and we already got that tank done too, so that's kind of nice. 2015. We could grab some stuff down there. I'm gonna grab some of this. That'd be nice. More infantry is good, good, good. I don't think I've really thrown anything else on here too. So, uh, what else could we use? We're making some anti-air, which is not bad. We need more main battle tanks. We need way more artillery. And way more of this as well. Way more motorized. Way more guns. Assam to clear war Mizoram. Okay. Whatever. And we have to do quite a bit of anti... Or light tank, I should say. Quite a bit of light tank. So let's throw on some light tanks. Okay, never mind. we got to research them again. Uh, over here, we got some of those guys. We're going to grab some support anti-air. That'll help out, since enemies love anti-air a whole bunch, apparently. Uh, throw the anti-air on there, too. Why not? And motorized division, so it's an anti-air, just in case. Because we have enough army XP. Or, I should really... Yeah, we have enough army XP. We're going to train if we need it anyways. And we've been building up a whole lot. Uh, just build all this stuff for now. 
And we'll also just build whatever resources we do need, like I've been doing off screen. Uh, a lot of chromium, some tungsten, some rubber. Actually, a lot of rubber. So we need more rubber and more chromium. Which is really nice building this stuff up. Boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. There you go. And build up some more military factories too. Let's just go with boom, boom. Beautiful. Us Gus will be ours soon. Hopefully. And they don't have that many divisions on our border. So I'm assuming that they... I don't know. How strong is California? Because they have a lot of people. And yeah, I do know that the Northeast has a lot of people. But honestly, compared to the South and the Midwest combined, it's, it's, it's pretty... pretty. It should be more equal. It should be more equal, at least. Because, you know, New York is like the third most populous state. 20 million people-ish. But when you combine, like... North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Florida has 17 million. That's a, that's a lot more population than I thought in Florida. Alabama and Mississippi don't really have that big populations. Louisiana has more, actually. Arkansas doesn't have a big population. Oklahoma, not that big. Part of Texas, eh. Texas, I mean, Texas, that part of Texas alone versus New York, including New York City? Eh, I don't know. Pennsylvania's looking pretty good, but then again, Florida has more population than them. Ohio has a, a pretty a good amount, so... Maine. Eh, never been up to these states. I should go someday. Massachusetts is pretty close, about seven million, and places just falling apart all over the place. Let's see. We're also I pretty much did all the research and production stuff. We got the West Coast. We got some Western industry. Industry and capitalism must be restored to the Union of American People's Republics. San Francisco, Vegas, and Los and LA were once the fastest growing cities in America, and they should be that again. Let the executives return to the West. We'll do that as soon as we're done with that, but we'll promote skilled immigration. National renewals traditionally attack the idea of immigration, declaring that it would lead to large scale demographic change and corrupt America's white majority population. Our businessmen disagree. A compromise will be reached as corporate America seeks for skilled labor across the country, all while maintaining the many of Duke's personal prejudices on such issues. Well, <clears throat> Some say demographics are the future. Mm, I'm kind of okay with our export law right now. We could go to war, but I want to wait first. I want to get rid of our deficit of all this. Look, I mean, look how much of this. Oh my goodness, so bad, so bad. And we need to get some light things done too. So, mm, not bad. Let's see. What are we gonna choose? Intelligence, military high command, logistics, army logistics. I'm really kind of pleased with my, our navy though. Ace generation, attrition. Yeah. Hmm. Close air support. I do like a lot of close air support, but this helps everyone else. Samuel Pope, bad weather penalty. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that. I want to integrate these areas. Oh, whatever. Montana territories. Yeah, we got to deal with a lot of resistance, but you know what? It's not looking too bad. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm actually really more interested in playing the APC now, just because of how ridiculous they became. But also, the Soviet Union and the PRC are still killing each other. Like, let's take a look. Actually, I don't know. How, how, how bad are they killing each other? The Turkish-Japanese War, so the Warsaw Pact, 3.29. Japan and China are fighting both the Soviets. And the Soviet Union, of course, here, too. Wow. Um, well, these economies are killing each other. That's good. Mm, but the Warsaw Pact is so big. How would I even... I don't know how to invade them. You'd probably, I'd probably go down first to take out the Guyanese Union... And then hop on over to the West African Union or Singala, Morocco. Get to the Kingdom of... Sp There's still a kingdom? And the Portuguese Republic. Take them both out. Then begin taking out France, probably. And drive up through France. Because Turkey is looking pretty dead right now. Let's see, who is this? People's Turkish States. Which is a puppet. And then you have the Soviet Union down here, too, with Vladi Daddy. I'm kind of okay with them killing each other. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be here. That, that would suck quite a bit. That would suck quite a lot, actually. What are we missing? Ooh. Indonesia, I guess I was buying some rubber. Cool, so we need more chromium and tungsten. Tungsten and chromium. Cool. Promote skilled immigration, and then we shall remove corporate taxes. No, that's a lot less political power. Uh, let's go ahead and push for recognition. Uh, many countries still fail to recognize us as the rightful successors to the U.S., hence limiting our influence on the world stage. As the controller of D.C. and heirs uh, to the old Republican Party, we must continue to push for recognition and make the world understand that the socialists in the North, East, and West are nothing but power-hungry breakaways. Cool. Very, very good. Well, everyone, the Northeast has been restored. With the radicals defeated and their former lands integrated with their administration, we are in a position to restore the state names of the old U.S. Okay. Wait, hold on. Parsons is... New Illinois versus... Ah, oh, okay. 
Yeah, I don't think so. We got New Illinois and Illinois. We got Indiana, Ohio. We got Pennsylvania. We've got Connecticut. Okay, so everything else is pretty much back to normal, which is kind of nice. Rhode Island doesn't exist, which is good. And Maryland still exists. Oh, wait. Delmarva is a peninsula, but I guess there's no Delaware. Good. Good. And apparently, uh, these guys just went to war with us. Um, we have 67 divisions, and they have seven, up to 74 now. Our guys, off screen, I made these guys, if you look at our uh, air XP and army XP, I made these guys 40 combat width, and I want to throw on some logistic companies of these up here too. I made everyone 40 combat width, which is probably a really bad idea, but hey, it is what it is. And can we actually duplicate casts? I would love more casts. Because uh, our plans, they're looking okay. They're not looking, you know, superb. But it looks like we've built enough casts off screen that, okay then, I'll, I'll gladly take it. Loads of casts, just so much casts. Do we have any more fighters though? Fighters? There we go. Yeah, we don't have that many fighters. Oh, these are carrier planes. Uh, actually, I don't want to use carrier planes. I want to use... I don't mind keeping those guys there, but I want actual fire groups. Yeah, apparently we don't have that many. All right, then. Whatever. Uh, three guys right there, and then three guys right here. Uh, they literally just declared war on us, so that's why some of these some of these divisions aren't looking too organized right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, these guys... How, how are these guys looking? They're not looking bad for them, and I guess we're building a lot of naval bases, too, because... I am want to destroy a lot of enemy ships. Uh, level 1 radar isn't bad. And you, you should really probably research more ships. I'll be playing this a little bit more off screen just because. Uh, well, hold on, let's do this first. You might as well switch this over, that's fine. Just because I do want to kill all the Soviet Union. Like, uh, I won't do it in every single campaign I play as an American Republic or even as an American nation. But I think for this campaign, it's a little bit fitting for my first one here that we do that. So, uh, radar is pretty useful too. Just go and do that. I uh, do dupe, and then a dupe, dupe, dupe. Good, good, good. USS Brooklyn, Philadelphia. It's fine. Uh, got one carrier, two carrier, two of those, and submarinos might be pretty useful. Actually, I don't, I don't want to make those subs. I want to make level three subs are better. Uh, build a lot of these guys actually, because I want a lot of light cruisers. And I'll throw another thing after that. There you go. Cool. Well, we could try to attack. Actually, I've done nothing for my intelligence agency. I um, mean, we can call it the CIA. That's fine with me. If you guys think of better names, go right ahead. But, uh, yeah, see, look, this is not looking too good now, is it? Oof. We need way more military factories. Uh, and do we core everything here? Oh, uh, yes, we did. We have over 300 factory nodes. Um, can we actually win, maybe? If we did this? Can we win? How is your Air Force? It's not looking too bad. That's a lot of damage. Well, not as much as I would like, of course, but. Uh, casualties? Wow! We've lost about 10,000, and we're probably done mobilizing, of course. Um, 12,000 versus 92,000. We can't win everywhere, obviously, but they've got quite a few divisions. Not bad so far. 100,000 have died. All right. Well, let's take a look. Uh, we can't see too much about them. Manpower, about a million. Industry's not too bad. They're led by Jarvis Tyner. So, okay, well, not bad. We did secure the pilots as well, so... Uh, now we could do new friendships or old friendships. I'll leave that up to you guys. Should we do new friendships so we get to befriend Thailand, Spain, and China, or Japan? We create League of America, create our own faction. Or should we do old friendships where we befriend Canada, Iran, Britain, and Turkey? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and let's go ahead and do some remove... No, I'm not doing that one. No, 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 no. You'd be crazy for us to do that. There's not much left, so let's go ahead and do Hidden Americans. How about that? How about that? So, oh wow, we got a lot more air XP now. Again, and army XP, so that's not too bad. Down here, we're doing a little bit more damage. Over here, we're doing a little bit more damage as well. Hopefully, we'd be doing okay. Anything else that we should really know about? I mean, yeah, we're going to have more, a massive loss of this. But we're going to take out Mexico, like I said. We're going to take out Canada. We're going to take out a lot of people and a lot of things around here. Right, so it says we can do well attacking, so. Come on, guys, keep doing a good job. We keep beating them up. They've lost 200,000 men. We've lost 74,000, so it's not like it's going extremely well for us. Especially since we're lacking a lot of guns, but that's because we try to make our guys 40 combat width. Order department, so... If I have to work with the PRC to take out Russia, you know, okay, so be it, so be it. My goal is just to blow up all the enemy's navies anyways, so... And not too bad. And we want to integrate a lot of territories and reunite America, that'd be good. American isolation would be removed, which would be good for us. Uh, I'll have you guys go in there, please. Thank you very much. Fighting into hills with these tanks is not a good idea. But research-wise, we're looking okay. Not great, but okay. 
good. We're doing all right. We lost 150,000. Nope, about 100,000 versus a third of a million. Up to 70 divisions in total, or 69. Nice, very nice. Help out, help out. Well, we're definitely giving them a rough and tumble right now. Quite a few casualties, still building up a massive military. I'm not sure what else they want me to do about this. I mean, that's fine over here, but... Um, there you go. We're doing logistics. We got all this stuff done. We gotta grab some of this too as well. That'll be really good for us. And I'm still just training ships. That's literally all I'm doing. Uh, how, how else are these guys doing? I don't know anything about the Union of American People's Republics. So, they, they're probably still mobilizing. They probably are. Division... Oh, look at this! Stockpile? Um, they don't have... Hmm. Okay, there's not that many guns. Alright, whatever. I, I, you, you expect them to have more guns, but they've... Well, maybe they're making a lot of divisions or something. Logistics, nice. Let's grab some more logistics. That'd be good, actually. And I'm going to immediately throw them at least on the tanks, because tanks need... Yeah, these are heavy tanks, so... There you go. Motorized, just throw them on everybody, actually. I don't care. Cool, and then infantry. Yes, please. Commonwealth of Nations formed, huh? All right, so it's from the British Empire, and actually, not British Empire, the British Republic, and actually, Ireland re reunited all of Ireland with Ulster peacefully. And let's go. Let's start doing this stuff. And they're still in their own faction. The oh no, they uh, oh they dismantled their faction. Look at that. They did the Commonwealth, and they dismantled stuff. Matthew McLaws. Oh, it is 2016. It's gonna be a fun year for everybody, right? We've lost 200,000 some, they've lost almost half a million. If we keep putting a lot of pressure on them, they can't do too much, right? Right? Oh man, we are looking not too super great in some of these areas. Help out, help out. Yeah, fighting through the Rockies is really kind of garbage. Pretty darn garbage. Oh, getting a flagstaff would be nice though. But if they have only 8,000 guns, that's actually really good for us then. It should make it a little bit easier for us to kill these guys off then. Oh, yeah, they got quite a few divisions here though. Oof. Not bad. Oop, that goes great to Lebanon. And let's make sure that we have enough air bases around here and enough radar so we can actually do stuff around here. That'd be probably pretty ideal. Okay. Oh, there we go. There goes Blackstaff. They're not really close to capitulating at all. They have less than 60 divisions now. We've got Hidden Americans, which is very good. Let's grab some modern strategies. That'd be kind of beneficial for us. Got 150 manpower. We might need to raise the conscription level some more, because we're losing a lot of guys. And Chief of the Navy, decisive battle. Yeah, I'll do that one. Oscar Johnston. Because I don't think we can do much else around here. Yeah, we need to own all their territory. A lot of rev, but it helps weaken them. It helps weaken us, too, though. We yeah, lost about a third of a million. Yeah, it's not good, but, you know, whatever. I really wanted to crush all the commies in this episode, so we'll see. Oh, we can do Nevada. That's fine. Let's go do some Nevada. Let's do some here, here. Build roads up as fast as possible, because supplies probably really got awful. Oh, it looks like they're injured for supplies as well, so even though we're going to be losing a lot of guys, it is what it is. Help them out, crush them, crush them, crush them. They still got a lot of manpower, though. Loads of manpower. Less than 60 divisions. Can't see what their templates are like. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Good. Missoula, huh? And resource-wise, we're looking really bad, but I don't really care, I'll be honest. Why don't we just go there and cut these guys off? There's only two divisions, which are giving us trouble. And that should be giving us a lot more XP for our generals here. Hopefully. There you go, see, that's all you have to do. Sabotage stuff. Ooh, can we do anything else yet? No, we don't have all of Montana under us, I guess. Maybe we should have formed some uh, Mountaineer soldiers. they got to be less than 55 divisions now, right? Backhand blows, nice. And let's finish our land auction with Modern Blitzkrieg. Not bad. Some better cast, that's really good. 2016, like I said. Let's grab some... Oh, I forgot to do this too. Modern War. 
Hard hardware. Very good, very good. And oh, oh, okay then. Middle East is starting to fall apart a little bit more. That's okay with us. Not bad. Still want to build more stuff. Oh, we almost have one of these thingies. Research centers. I'm not sure what that's going to do for us. If that gave us another Terra research slot, that would be really cool, but I kind of doubt it. Air doctrine. Yeah. Cast. Battery support. Let's go start doing that stuff. I forgot about that completely. There you go. Oh, nah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. See, so Bounce has got some more stuff. Yes, good, good, good. Mountaineers. And anything else? Not really, no. I can't imagine their stockpiles doing too well. Or our stockpiles really doing too well either, so. Yeah, fighting through the mount mountains really just is god awful. Well, we've almost reached California too, so that's kind of nice. Reno? Oh, like an old world blues? Go straight there. Uh, I would love to send my navy over here, but there's no point to, because I can't really do anything about that. God, fighting the desert heat like this, oof. Oh, the, really, the mountains, and I've been to Nevada once. Yeah, I've been to Las Vegas, yeah. Pretty hot down there, but it's not a bad heat. It's not a bad heat. Definitely not like this American South. Oh, yeah, going in. Hey, the nuclear reactor's in Las Vegas. Hopefully they don't nuke us. <gasps> we reached California. California's a big state. Very big state. Never been. Actually, actually, I have been South South Dakota, no, South, South Southern California, and South Dakota. Armored cars would probably be good to get as well. Cut them off so they could have to use their navy. Um, oh, is there a navy? Not good, apparently. Twenty sixteen summer, summer Olympics. The remnants of the fallen government won the competition to host twenty sixteen Olympics. In we all we all the Olympics in Miami. Okay, cool. The time has come. Not bad. And we've been cut off. Not good. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give it up. Give it up. Let's go to Colorado. And we'll do drone focus. No, I'll renew doctrine. That's, I like renewing doctrine more than that one. All right. Well, we've got down here. Slightly higher in terms of capitulating, but not that close. Anything else? A straight million? Yeah, they're, they're mobilizing. They're definitely mobilizing more. Logistics 2. Let's grab Logistics 3 immediately. That'd be good. Uh, minus a million. So, 2016 Louisiana floods. In August 2016, prolonged rainfall in the southern parts of the state of Louisiana resulted in catastrophic flooding that submerged thousands of homes and businesses. Louisiana's governor, John Bell Edwards, called the disaster a historic, unprecedented flooding event and declared a state of emergency. Many rivers and waterways, particularly the Amai and Comot rivers, reached record levels and rainfall ex exceeded 20 inches. In multiple parishes, because of the large number of homeowners without flood insurance that were affected, the federal government is providing disaster aid through, the, through FEMA. The flood has been called the worst American natural disaster since the Commonwealth's Hurricane Sandy in 2012. 13 deaths have been reported as a result of the flooding. Tragic. Well, that sucks. We lost political power. Then again, I guess how else are you going to si simulate loss? Uh, they've left L.A. open, so... Or the route to L.A. Maybe not L.A. itself, but... Yeah, this is a pretty gosh darn costly way of us doing this, but... Once we... Probably in the beginning of the next episode, we'll go to war with Canada... And then probably Mexico, because Canada looks a little easier. Hopefully Australia's not a major power, because I don't want to navally invade them. But we'll see, obviously. We've lost over half a million. And, oh, there goes Syria. And, of course, the Russians were down there, because why not? Uh, if you'd like to come down this way, they'll be fine with me. You guys, don't let these guys move. Don't let them move. Just go straight in and encircle them, basically. San Bernardino. San Bernardino. Oh, I never knew where that place was. Are you guys doing a good job down here? Keep killing them. Yeah, it's been definitely costly to, to win over here, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, no, son. No. Uh, keep these guys in place, guys. There we go. Oh, we just go division off immediately. Nice. Go to LA. That'd be good. Oh, LA's not even the capital. Where's the capital? Oh, God. Seattle? No. Come on, man. Oh, but they're that much closer. We don't have to probably take it. 3% more. We could probably take whatever else is in California here. Bakersfield? Never been there. Oh, like I said, California's a big old state, so... 
Nice. They have up to a million casualties. Look how many dead Americans you caused, commies. All right, they did it. Cool. So, let's see. As it should be. In which we need to integrate a lot of territories. Let's go and do the Montanans air territory. And, well, we got this one. Let's go ahead and read the next... Actually, this one down here. Western Territory. So, we've already read about this. But, basically, off screen, I'm going to go ahead and prepare for us to go to invade Canada. And, or, Mexico. But if you enjoyed the episode, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, like you saw the little thing earlier. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we will probably, hopefully, try to invade Mexico. Or at least all of North America. And maybe go to war with the Warsaw Pact. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.